Welcome back to the channel, broskies. Today we have a lot of things to do. Uh, personally, I haven't slept in 24 hours, but I decided, you know what, let's wake up, let's be extra loud, let's wake up the neighbors, let's start on the Civic. We have so many things coming for this car in the next couple of days. We have the K-Pro coming in. Uh, we have the wheels and tire setup coming in. So I'm gonna do a whole video on that as well as we're pretty much done with the vehicle. We did get the exhaust made from the previous video. So today's mission is to get that exhaust on, finish that up because the K-Pro is coming. We are also doing the coolant lines today, finishing the whole cooling system. I have everything to finish that as well. So enough talking, we're just gonna get right into it. We need to really finish this build and we're very, very close. Today's mission is we're gonna finish the exhaust, which is under the car. We're also gonna finish all this coolant. I have the port from K-Tune. We have this upper coolant adapter. We have the hoses to the heater core. I am going to keep heat. Um, as you can see, we kind of already have it all mocked up, the hoses. So we're just gonna get water or, or coolant into the system to see if it's leaking. If not, we're gonna tighten things because the caper is coming in the next couple of days. <sighs> I'm, I'm, oh my Lord, I'm an idiot. I didn't measure correctly. The exhaust did, ne did not end up fitting. So we're just gonna wait till we get the ECU with the base map and drive it to the exhaust shop. As for now, we kind of need to figure out the whole situation with the coolant because if I come and show you this, my car is actually missing pretty much the adapters that go here. We don't have any of that. We don't have the heater hoses, anything like that. So we need to finish that. And we have pretty much everything right here. We're gonna be running the K-Tune upper coolant adapter. This allows me to uh, delete the heater lines if I want to do that, but I'm keeping heater on this vehicle just because in case the windshield gets foggy or my car starts overheating, I can always just turn the heater on and that'll lower the temperatures. As well as it's easier to bleed whenever the coolant point is higher than the radiator, if that makes any sense. So it's gonna sit like here. So it's gonna be easier to bleed. I'm surprised they didn't give you a cap though. They didn't give me one of these. And this kit was super expensive, it was like 180. We can also run regular fittings or we can run NA fittings, which we're not gonna run this one right here. We're just gonna run regular fittings. And we have the heater hoses here. But the first thing we need to do because the K-Tune one comes with bolts already. They want you to use a provided bolts. We're gonna remove the studs that we have here already. And there's two methods to remove these studs. You can simply use the two nut method or you can use one of these. I think I don't have any nuts, so I'm gonna show you how you can do it. You literally just put a lot of force on that, clamp it down, and as you can see, look, it's loose. So you just loosen it, which is weird because it's loose like that, but, but when you try to do it by hand, you literally, it's like solid. You cannot move that. So. I'm just gonna mess with this quickly, remove those bolts, and then we'll start installing this. The cool part about this adapter here, it doesn't need any gaskets. It comes with O-rings. I have no idea what those uh, numbers are. I think might maybe the size of the O-rings or something, but um, we're gonna put this on here. We even have a port for the temperature sensor here, which I think I'm going to use because the harness doesn't reach the one on the K24. So we're just gonna block that one off put it here and then put it on top of here and that'll solve that issue as well as we will be able to bleed the system once we get the ECU. And like I said, again, I'm running heater hoses. I'm running heater hoses. So today's mission is simply, since we can't do the exhaust, we're just gonna finish the whole cooling system. As you can see, mine is just like kind of mocked up and I don't want that leaking or having bleeding issues. So yeah, let's get to it. Let's start removing all this and let's move on from this. And just like that, she's all out. So now we're gonna clean it up and install the new one. Man, this was a kind of like a pain in the ass to remove, but we got it out. So as you can see, we pretty much have it all blank now. Um, I'm gonna not scuff it up, but I'm gonna clean it with a wipe. Is that silicone? And um, install the new, new one and we should be good to go. As you can see, everything is pretty much installed. We have to pick our fittings. I'm going to be running this one right here. This fitting is for the radiator hose is going to go in here like that and it's going to connect to this. I think I'm going to actually have to cut the radiator hose a tiny bit, which I'm going to do just for better fitment. But they do give you two fittings. If you want to run AN lines, you need to run this one right here. I'm not using that, but I'm keeping it as a spare. We're going to be running this one right here. Screw it in. It has an O-ring. I always put a little bit of um, 
grease on my o-rings because i don't want them drying up and we're gonna install this in here which should be pretty easy all you do is like i said again screw it in there we go she's good to go we're gonna tie in it with a wrench and that's it super easy k-tune k-tune why do you have to let me down k-tune so i bought these specific k-tune coolant hoses because they're meant for k-swap vehicles especially these are apparently for the ek with ekk2 mounts which i i'm running i'm also running the eg subframe and as you can see they don't even touch man they're not even close enough whatsoever look if i place it here it doesn't even get close to touching the heater hose ports so I'm gonna return these and these two hoses alone from K-Tune were $80. K-Tune, for some reason, I always have problems with K-Tune. Um, another thing for, I paid I think $240 for this adapter plate right here. Doesn't even come with a radiator cap. Like, honestly, I, I like hybrid racing more than I do K-Tuned and I espe especially like K-Motor stuff, which is a cheaper brand, but they sponsored the build and their stuff always fits really good. Like K-Tune stuff just in general. So I, I bought my, um, I bought this right here. This is an AC power steering delete from K-Tune as well. And it was missing bolts. Like, come on, man. I, their quality control is not good. So apparently, not only do these hoses not fit, but K-Tune forgot to send me the cap for the actual adapter. I didn't realize it until now. The description has it having the cap. I don't have the cap, so now I contacted them. Hopefully they sent me one in. I opened the box and there was literally nothing in here but this. So I don't know what's up with K-Tune, but like I said again, I always have problems with K-Tune. There's nothing there, here's the wrapping. There's literally nothing here. So I don't know what's going on with K-Tune and their quality control, but it's not very well. So we're here at Advance. I'm gonna go in there. What I'm gonna do is um, I don't really think I need the angle. I think the, these hoses are flexible enough to where I can kind of angle it the way that I need it. But I do need the, uh, what's it called? The, the diameter to be, there you go, diameter. Sorry, my English isn't that good. But my diameter needs to be about the same as the adapter fitting. So I brought this and I'm gonna find a hose that has a similar diameter and just have it about i would say a foot longer and i can cut it myself i don't really care about that and that should have flexed a little bit enough just to get them in and then we'll be done with that and honestly i'm really annoyed with k-tune they always let me down these two hoses 80 bucks you would think for 80 bucks this stuff would fit and it doesn't it's just i don't know maybe it's just me who knows let me know in the comments have you had issues with k-tune lately like everything i've ever bought it's missing something and i always have to send it back or get a refund it's just a waste of time like hey to get your whatever the people that put things in boxes quality control there i i'm mad i can't even talk get your quality control and, and like handle or handle your quality control fix it and why am i why am i i don't know let's go in there let's get the right hoses and put everything back together because we're we don't have a lot of time our road trip is pretty it's coming up it's pretty close so let's go in there and find them florida for you it was so sunny like two seconds ago and all of a sudden it looks like we're getting a hurricane but i'm back from advance we do have just a regular hose we have hose clamps hopefully this is the right size kind of just eyeballed it so yeah come on baby okay it looks like it'll it looks like it'll fit i'll just put a little bit of lubricant in this to get it to go in and there and kind of make it fit but <clears throat> we're gonna make it fit and then i'll show you what it looks like so i kind of have the whole heater hose situation kind of solved when they ended up doing is i went and bought a hose from advance it fit perfectly fine as you can see there it's a little close to the header but i'm going to zip tie it over here to the side to the other hose but unfortunately for some reason the driver's side fittings are a lot bigger than the passenger side so we have to go get a different size hose just a tiny bit bigger than this one this one is i think what was this three eighths or something like that i'm not too sure but i need to buy um a little bit longer one as well as a little bit wider one and then that that whole situation will be solved so what we're gonna do is i just got this in the mail what do you need to do in order to do a k swap in a ek civic you're technically going to be running the k20 stuff so you need to replace the knock sensor what i did which i did already the crank sensor and the cam angle sensors these right here because as you can see these are pointing up and the connector unfortunately doesn't reach which is this one right here if i can get it 
right here, it won't reach because I can't bend it the correct way. So what you need to do is you need to run K20 sensors. So we're gonna replace those as well. And then we'll go to O'Reilly's, get a different hose, finish this, this situation here. Well, boys, I ended up going to Advance, as you can see. Well, once it clears up, and we ended up finding just some regular hosing. And if it's perfectly fine, it doesn't look ugly. I fixed the wiring as well. Everything is nice and tidy. Now, it's just a waiting game. We have to wait for parts to come in. But overall, this thing is ready to rock and roll. The ECU is coming in Monday. The wheels and tires are coming in Tuesday. And then I have so many parts coming for the MR2. We got to start taking that thing apart. But first... We have to finish this and then we'll get started on the K-Swap MR2 project over there. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, but I think I'm going to end it here. Overall, we got a lot done and from what you can see, for some reason, I always have problems with K-Tune. I know it's probably just bad luck on my end, but quality control should be a little bit better. Overall, this thing is looking really, really good. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'm going to end it there. So I'll see you guys next time.